Hey, y'all. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance for my laughter. Um, you see the title of the video. Uh, this is uh, Umar Johnson, also known as King Kong Consciousness. He's recently made a, uh, a series of videos um, about his concern um, of his African mixed race brothers and sisters and um, how he is worried about whether or not they're being raised right and treated right and them being accepted by other Africans. So <clears throat> I'm going to share his latest live. And uh, again, I'm um, just giving a disclaimer that, uh, you know, please forgive my laughter. Umar has always been a source of comic relief for me. So hold on one second while I share. <laughs> Here we go. No disrespecting black women on my platform, Sister Bar. Okay. Um, fair use, and I'm gonna skip around because it's it's long. You know, Umar is very long winded, so I'm gonna skip around also. Barber, he's gone. I don't accept black men disrespecting black women. You do that shit somewhere else. You do. See, we have to reinstate law and order in the black community. We have to reinstate law and order in the black community. We have to reinstate law <laughs> and order in the black community. If you just checked in, this is Dr. Umar Ifatunde, doctor of clinical psychology, certified school psychologist, certified school principal. I'm giving a seminar on how to raise mixed race African children. I'm giving a seminar on how to raise mixed race African yes. children. So let me go back to where I was. Mm -hmm. I digress. You have to tell your snow bunny baby mom or wife or wife, my daughters are black. They don't need a white, white doll baby. And the reason my daughters don't need a white doll baby is they got to look at you all day. Aren't you white enough? They already have a white doll baby, their mother. They have a white grandmother. They got white aunts. They got white cousins. Why do they need a white doll baby when most women they will see when they go to work, go to school, are white? Now, I actually agree with him there. I do agree with him there. They don't need a white doll baby. They have a white mother. That's enough whiteness right there. So now. So now. With that being said, you let her know that all dolls are black. Then you. Well, all dolls are black. I would say um, let them be other shades of black, black, brown. I would do a, an assortment of different colors, not just black. Tell her your daughter is to have pictures and posters of unapologetically African inventors, leaders, activists, ancestors on her wall. Oh yes. That house, the house where a mixed race black girl is being raised. Same is true if she's not mixed race. Same is true if she's not mixed race. Same is true if she's not mixed race. But if she's a mixed race black girl, to avoid the racial confusion that the snow bunny mother will heap upon her black daughters. To avoid the psychological confusion that the snow bunny mothers will heap upon their black daughters. You have to make sure every picture in the house is of a positive black woman. I did not say a gangster rapper. I did not say a singer. I did not say an actor. I did not say a comedian. I said in black female inventor, black female scientist, black female activist, black female ancestor. And if I had a mixed race child, which I never will, but if I had a mixed race child, which I never will, if I had a mixed race child, which I never will, Am I the only one who's noticed that 
Umar repeats himself in threes. Uh, you know, I've long suspected that he's on the, the spectrum somewhere. But anyway, let's, let's get Never will. You know what I'm hanging up? I'm hanging up pictures of female African deities. That's what would be in my house. Not only am I going to have Mae Jemison, the first black female astronaut. Not only am I going to have all the black female scientists, I'm going to have a big poster of Ida B. Wells, a big poster of Harriet Tubman, a big poster of okay, Anna Douglas. Let's, let's move on. Be affirming messages to your daughter. You are going to baptize your daughters in blackness when they are with you. You are going to baptize your daughters in blackness when they are with you. You are going to baptize your daughters in blackness when they are with you. And let the mother know this. Let the mother know that if you allow my child to be subject to insults, if you allow my child to be subject to insults, Kasim Lamar, do you want to be blocked? Because you're acting like a Negro pen. I don't know what a pro-black is. I never heard of a pro Jew. I never heard of a pro Italian. I never heard of a pro European. I never heard of a pro Latino. I never heard of a pro Chinese, a pro Asian, a pro East Indian. Kasim, you want to get blocked for good, brother, from coming on my lives? It's up to you, my brother. I will send you to the block party. And I'm not talking about the one in Wilmington, Delaware on September the 10th. I will send you to a block party. And I'm not talking about the FDMG block party in Wilmington, Delaware on September the 10th. I will send you to a block party if you're looking for a block party, Kasim Lamar. Kasim Lamar. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me and see what I do to you. I will banish your ass from ever being on my platform again. Stop playing with me, boy. <laughs> Stop playing with me, little boy. Stop playing with me, little boy. Probably got a snow bunny. But let me refocus. Well, a lot of pro-blacks do, but anyway. Let me refocus. Let me refocus. Here we go. You tell the white mother of your black children. You tell the white mother of your black children. One more time. If you allow my child to be psychologically traumatized by your white racist relatives, if you allow my child to be psychologically traumatized by your white racist relatives, I will take you to court and I will get custody of my child. I will take you to court and I will get custody, full custody of my child. You are not going to traumatize this baby. I wish that actually would happen more. Um you know, pretty much almost everybody knows that I'm mixed. Um, it, you know, I've been, the more time that I spent in this, um, I guess, like golden sphere mixed race circle here on YouTube, I see that the experience that I had with my parents has just been totally different from so many others. Um, I was really, really fortunate that uh, I have both of my parents. They stayed together until my father died six years ago. And I either saw my father every day or I talked to him on the phone uh, up until the day he died six years ago. And there's so many um, biracial people in this space that have been... Um, damaged and traumatized by their ignorant mothers. And it's just very, very sad that their fathers were weak and allowed this to happen to their kids. So I that that's something that I really do wish that their fathers would, would do. That needs to be a thing. I had no right putting an African seed in you in the first place. I had no right putting a divine. Okay, now that I disagree with. Umar needs to spend less time dick police and black men. You know, he has nothing to say about the black women that chase after white men. I've never, ever, ever heard him say anything about that. But he's constantly going in on black men 
who date out. So, you know, he needs to cut that shit out. The African seed in you. Ban right. you. I'm banning you for eternity. Shout out to Facebook. Zuckerberg for having a permanent ban. They just mm -hmm. added that. I okay. never saw that before. They give you the option of banning them from this live stream or all future live streams. I'm not going to play around with you, Coons. I'm not going to play around with you, Coons. I'm not going to play around with you, Africoons. I'm going to ban you from all live streams going forward. So let's refocus. Tell her you will take her to court and get your child if she allows your child to be victimized and psychologically traumatized by her Caucasian relatives. Now, here's a very important point. White mothers of black children will swear they're not racist. White mothers of black children will swear they're not racist. White mothers of black children will swear they're not racist. I can promise you, every African who has a white mother, every African who has a white mother, every African who has a white mother has heard their mother make a racist comment about black people. That is not true. Never once has anything like that crossed my mother's lips. And because he said every, I can say, emphatically that that is false categorically false for me that is categorically false i have never met a mixed race african who didn't hear their white mother say something insulting about black people I oh, okay well those are the ones that he met so moving on community even in regular black families this is a big problem in the black community even in regular black families Make sure the white mother understands that you have an unconscious bias for the lighter child. And you have to remain vigilant about your unconscious racism because your unconscious racism will have you spending more time with your light-skinned black daughter than your dark-skinned black daughter. Your unconscious racism will have you being more friendly and welcoming White uncles better understand it. White grandparents better understand it. Black grandmothers better understand it. Black grandfathers better understand it. Black uncles better understand it. Black aunts better understand it. Black cousins, black friends, black in-laws, black football coach, black football coach, teachers, everybody better understand. These are the five rules that you better make clear, black man. If you love your mixed race African daughters, you better make sure everybody understand these five rules, white woman. If you love your mixed race daughters, white man. If you love your mixed race daughters, black woman. If you love your mixed race children. What are the five rules? Rule number one, and I hope y'all listening. Share this video when it's over. Rule number one, and I hope y'all listening. Rule number one, for parents, for anybody that's going to be around mixed race siblings of different complexions or full race siblings of different complexions. These rules are for black families and snow bunny families. These rules are for black families and snow bunny families. Five rules everybody better understand. But before I say them, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Before I say the five rules, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. International Africans, hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. International Africans, hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. It looks like I'm coming to Zimbabwe this year. It looks like I'm going to be coming to Zimbabwe for the first time this year. It looks like I'm going to be linking up with my Zimbabwean Africans before. The okay, I've had enough. Let me let me stop. Okay, so let me go back. All right, so what I can see is that Umar <laughs> has found 
a growing, I guess, group to pander to and uh, get donations. He can't get angry that his pro-Black audience is up in arms. Because I read through the comments. I'm going to leave the link to um, this live stream if y'all want to go through the rest of it, because um, I, I can't take any more of uh, him repeating himself in threes. I think, you know, a lot of his videos wouldn't be, they probably could be cut in half if he didn't repeat himself over and over again. But he can't be angry that these people are angry because, you know, once upon a time, long time ago, I used to run with the Hoteps. So he actually used to do all of this pro-Black talk. Now he's saying he's not pro-Black. He can't be upset. He has no right to be irritated at them for calling him out for pandering to mixed race individuals. He has no right to be upset about that. He really doesn't. So anyway, um, <laughs> like I said, he is a comic relief for me. I thought it was funny and I just thought I would share it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.